Hi, I'm Eugenie Chan. Uh, today I'd like to demonstrate this um, tools. It is called multi-angle cutting jigs. Um, it is used to cut uh, nice and clean cuts on um, metal in 90 degree or 45 degrees. It is made of uh, hardened steel in two sections like that, okay? And it's held with a screw and that is used for opening and closing uh, for the jig as well. So this is the bottom side. So when you flip it over, this is flat side. Um, but you can see there's a deep V-shaped dugout here along the cutting line. That is for you to, um, to locate and also um, position um, the marks in place when you put it in. Okay, so it's easier for you to see. And if you have problem, you can always use a flashlight or magnifying glasses to check it. Now on the side here, you got two um, identical uh, measurement diamond shape here. These are for cutting um, tubes in, you know, in the bigger size and the small size. And they were the same, this 90 degree and the 45, all right? So now this jig need to work with a, a vise so you can hold it in position when you do the sawing. And also the other things I would recommend you to use brand new saw blades each time because it will help your, um, your job so much faster and the cuts are nicest, it's cleaner, it's guaranteed, okay? So I use either two odds or four odds, it depends um, um, what your material is. So now let's do some cutting here. Today I'd like to show you how I do my, um, my rings or bezel or anything that's a, that needs the two edges straight and um, meet together. So this, um, see here, when you get the measurement, you make your first mark about one eighth to a quarter inch in here. Then you got some, uh, some meat to grab on to the jig, okay? So you make your first mark here with a Sharpie so you can see a little bit better, so a Sharpie. And then you get the second mark, get the measurement, and then you do the second mark here. Now, very important on this subject, make sure you mark the size as well because that will help you line up the, um, um, the mark so much easier instead of from the top, if you can do it, right? Okay, so like that. So I kind I like to use this, it's just easier. Any kind of looping tool so that you can, uh, you know, do it like this. And the, the idea is to get, um, to get a D shape. So, um, so you get a D shape, a kind of D, letter D with one side is um, straight, one side straight. So you can, that side is to sit on the, see all you have to do is just line up. So easier for you to line up on this round there. So line it up here, so I got line up. And, and that, after that, I use this as my favorite tool, a hemostat, you don't have to, but. Um, so I use a hemostat and I give it, you know, hold it so it's in position and the marks won't move. And now, so I open it, open it up, and I'm using a 90 degree. So all you do, you line up here, slide it in, slide it in, line up the marks here with the uh, with the line. See, so line up the marking with the cutting line here. Okay. So, yeah, so you hold on to that. Now you can you can take this off, and then you tighten this up. Do the final adjustment. Make sure. It's all done. Okay. Now, so you can you can put it on a jig. Now at this at at this kind of um, at this time, we were taught to um, to saw up and down uh, with gentle pressure. But in this case, you cannot do that because you will cut onto the bottom as well. So you have to. Um, Basically, you have to use uh, cut it at about 45 degree angle, so like that. And I like to use my other hand to hold on to the tail end of it. So, so you can see, you can tell. Now, sometimes easier to get out, sometimes it will probably you got stuck behind it, so you just take off the, the saw blade. 
So after it's through, you take it off and do it. See, you can see this is really nice, clean cut. It's no burrs, nothing. So you can go straight to the soldering table. So that's that easy, okay? Now, when you cut straight lines, um, when you cut, sorry, when you cut um, uh, just one sheet of metal, making sure after you mark it, okay? So you mark it and put it in. Now, that is very important that you go all the way to the back. So you adjust it and you go all the way to the back. This will give you um, a straight line at the back. So when you cut the 90 degree angle, it is the right angle. So, and now that you can do it. Okay, let's try the other side. How's that? The same as the 45. You have, you still have to go all the way to that, to the end so it won't move. Okay, and it can line up the same way. So we put it here. Now in this case, because you got nothing uh, at the bottom to worry about, so all you have to do, just go the traditional way, go up and down, okay? Oh, it's through, all right? So this is how easy it is. So you got a straight line. This is a straight angle, okay? So this is how it works. Cutting the tube is the same. The same idea, 45 or um, 90 degree. The same procedure. So um, so that's all for, for today. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you sometime next time.